Yeah. I did. I went on a date with a white guy. Look at that solemn face. Hey everyone, I went on a date with a white guy. What a shitty fucking thing. Look at me pouting. I can't believe he was white. Hey everyone, it's Just Natasha, the ghetto dork, the hood spirit. Come to make you feel things, feel good things, give positivity, make you feel loved. Make sure that you guys are walking around a beacons of light. For some reason, I don't think she is talking about me. Peace, joy, all of that. Once you have it inside, you can give it outside. You understand? See how that means? See what that means. And before you tell me that it's just black dialectic, I would like you to know you sound like the white men originally from the South with no education. The historic timeline of this was documented by Thomas Sowell in a book called Black Rednecks and White Liberals, and he's black. Not that it matters to me, but it probably matters to you. I make a lot of videos about racism. You guys can check that out on this channel. And a lot of my viewers disagree because I am not against interracial dating. I think we are human first. We are beings first. We exist here first. Exactly. So you do understand. You were just pulling my chain. And race, obviously, is a social construct meant to lift up white people and suppress anyone else who ain't white. The darker you are, the lower you are in the totem pole. Oh, for fuck's sake. Made a lot of videos talking about racism. Cool. Also, to be fair, just to let you all know, this was years ago. Not that I wouldn't date a white guy now, but it's going to be hell and high water. You'd have to be an intellectual, dectable type of white. For me to go ahead and date you. I mean super woke. Way woke. And constantly, constantly unraveling everything that you learn. Every single piece of your whiteness. You have to be so far conscious of unraveling this whiteness and supremacy that helps and supports you. In every waking moment and every waking day to date me. Well, if it makes you feel better, I wouldn't date you even if you didn't look like an obese, overcompensating, racist-ass bitch. And that's a lot. Also to mention, I think when we try to overlap our human beingness onto man-made rules such as race, I don't think those two mix and I think we can get really sick in trying to make our souls match man-made law. Oh, that's deep, girl. Man-made law, that is race. Hmm, maybe biological law. Maybe I don't take stock in such an insignificant difference, but you're acting like society painted me white and you black. There's nothing in this country that I can do that you can't. I don't think those two exist on the same plane. Um, but race does have real life consequences, real life action, just because you're walking around and you're this being and you just want to feel good things doesn't mean a cop won't baton you upside your head because you black on the wrong day. Utter nonsense. There is no evidence on a country scale that suggests that that happens. There is evidence that black people are three times more likely to resist arrest than whites, and this is just speculation, but maybe it's because of the nonsense people like you feed them, saying that they are going to die. Let's keep it all the way 100. All of that being said, this was years ago, pre-woke Tosh. I wanted to date this white guy. It's so funny because this actually inspired one of the scenes to my comedy web series, Sit Black and Relax. And the lead character, Maya, goes on a one night stand with this apparently super woke white guy. So woke that he's racist and offensive. Like, you know what I mean? Like... No, I don't know what you mean. You just said that if a white guy was to date you, he would have to be out of this world woke. And now you are saying that he was way too woke and that he was racist and offensive. You can't have it both ways. She goes on to tell a story about a white guy that took her out and started bragging about all of these great things he did for Africans. Basically telling me he is just a cuck that is trying to do what's right but is too fucking stupid to understand reality. But here is a novel 
terrible thought. Black people have been training whites in the U.S. for decades now. Oh, you come from a position of privilege. Oh, you don't understand blacks. Oh, you're oppressing me. Oh, you're lucky because you're white. And then we get this poor cuckified bastard that is just trying to use everything he was taught and be as careful and as sensitive to your outlandish needs as you say and nope. Well, get fucked. Usually I'm not this mean, but I truly believe you are an evil piece of human garbage who is racist. Have a mediocre day.